One of the benefits of blocks is the ability to control the block's appearance on a per block level. To do this, you can use something called block supports, as well as define the block styles. Let's take a look at how this works. Block supports is the API that allows a block to declare support for certain common features. For example, most blocks support the ability to set their alignment, their background color and text color, and typography. You can define support for these common features in the block metadata, and once enabled, the block will have these abilities enabled in the editor. To add support for a feature, you define it in the supports property of the block's metadata in the block.json file. Open the file from the source directory and update the supports property to include the align support. Once the build process is complete, create a post and add the block to the post. You'll see that the block now has the ability to set its alignment. Enabling any of the available block supports is as simple as adding them to the supports property of the block.json file, and it gives your users a wealth of options to customize the block's appearance. There are some cases, however, where you would prefer to define the block styles yourself. In the copyright date block requirements defined in the scaffolding a new block lesson, we required that the block always have a specific border, border color, and padding. This is where the style.scss and editor.scss files come in. These files allow you to set up specific block styles, and then these styles are applied in the editor and on the front end. These two files are syntactically awesome style sheets, also known as SAS files. Just like the JSX format you've seen to create blocks converts into regular JavaScript during the build step, SAS files convert into regular CSS. These files follow the new SCSS syntax, which you can learn about on the SAS website. Fortunately, you can also just write plain CSS in SAS files, and that will work as well. In the scaffolding a new block lesson, you learned what these two files are used for. Style.scss is the styles that are applied to the block in the front end and in the editor. And editor.scss are the styles that are applied to the block in the editor only. If you need a specific style to be applied to the block in the front end and in the editor, you would add the styles to the style.scss file. If you open this file, you'll see the following scaffolded code. You may have noticed, however, that this style is not being applied to the current block. This is because the class name applied to the parent container of the block via use block props is automatically generated based on the block's name. In the block.json file, the name of the block is copyright date slash copyright date block. So the class name is generated as WP block copyright date copyright date block. The class name you see being targeted in the style.scss file is based on the original name of the block, so you need to change it to match the class name that is being generated. At the same time, you can also add your border, border color, and padding to the block. So let's go with a one pixel solid border and make it a dark color. And we'll add padding of five pixels. Because you want the border to appear all the time, you don't need to define any specific editor styles. This means you can delete the editor.scss file. You can also delete the editor style property in the block.json file. And the importing of the editor scss in the edit.js file. Making these changes might break the Webpack dev server, so you may need to restart it. 
Once the build process has been run, create a post and add the block to the post. You'll see that the block now has the border and border color that you defined in the style CSS file. When you preview the block, the style is also applied on the front end. When you're developing your blocks, it's useful to think about what appearance elements you want users to be able to edit versus what should always apply to the block. Then you can either add the relevant support or hard code any specific styles into the relevant style file. For more information on adding block supports, check out the detailed supports page in the Block Editor Handbook.